welcome back. As I mentioned, we have Jeff Parker here. Hello, happy Monday. Happy Monday to you too. Good to be back. Good. Well, we're glad to have you back with uh, additional information. And as I uh, let the uh, viewers know, we're going to talk to you about some COVID numbers. And they're looking good and better every day. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're headed in uh, clearly in that direction of being uh, going green in June um, if yeah. we keep this up. And um, Orange County has done so well um, with regards to getting the vaccines out there, getting the tests continued. Right. Um, we'll go through those numbers. We only have 47 cases reported um, yesterday, and um, unfortunately, two um, passing away, two mm -hmm. people passed away. Um, but those numbers have stayed consistently really low in zeros, twos. Um, so that's good to see that we're not having any fatalities because of COVID right. um, recently, like we did in the past. Mm -hmm. um, again, wanted to mention the tests are still above uh, 5,000 tests on a daily basis. And uh, the real positive one uh, that I talk about all the time is the hospitalizations at 69 and ICUs only 10. Um, right. And, and when, you, when you look at that, um, we're going back, uh, I look back about a month ago, 21 days ago, and we were at over 111 hospitalizations mm -hmm. and 24 ICUs. So we've dropped that down tremendously, which really means the ability to go to the hospital if you have any other issues which is so important for not only our community, but all, all of the state in Orange County. Right, right. No, it looks good. And, and I know that uh, we've talked about this many times before, is about the vaccinations, is that we've done so well with that. And so many people have gotten it here uh, in Laguna Woods, not just the village, but uh, being the, the best number, I think. Yeah, we're <laughs> the, if you go out to the zip code section, um, and you look at it, KTLA even reported that Laguna Woods, the zip code for Laguna Woods, has the highest percentage of people who have been vaccinated, over 75% within that right. zip code. So an amazing stat um, and an amazing thing to uh, not only thank the people here in the village that were a part of our vaccination process, yeah. but people in the community as well that are just getting out there and getting vaccinated because it certainly mo moves us in that herd immunity concept. And, and, exactly. and that's... That's just great information. Up, up on the board, you see that we have 416 cases for the community of Laguna Woods. Again, uh, using that um, stat, that's again, in, in a three week process, um, going back and reviewing that, it's only three additional cases in over three weeks and no additional deaths in that three week period. Right. So we have really stabilized um, for the whole community of Laguna Woods. Exactly, and you know, if you think about what was able to be accomplished within those few weeks uh, when we had to pretty much buckle down and do something. Uh, it's a good testament to what it would be like if we had an emergency. How quickly we can get people together, get things done. I mean, that, that should be reassuring. Yeah, and I think that's the, the volunteerism that we saw here, at the, here in the village um, and our relationships that we had with the memorial care and, right. and all the people that came together for the vaccination clinics. Um, I think that does bode well for if we needed to do the same thing for a different kind of emergency, right. we could pull it off and, and do it rather quickly. Hey, you know, I think they've said many times it takes a village, right? <laughs> Exactly right. So look at these great numbers, um, oh, all in the yellow and all um, trending downward. As we saw, we you know snuck under the two uh, last time, but we're now down to 1.5 cases per hundred thousand, which is trending that downward. And we're below one percent on the other two um, positive cases and the uh, health quartile. Mm -hmm. So that can't get much better than that. Down down to zero would be obviously wow. Well, perfect, it looks like but, we're going to get there. Um, but we are definitely going in the route that the governor has said that all of the states headed towards, which will get us to that green category. And I know we can't wait for that. And um, again, part of that going green, we'll get more information as the governors come out there. They still are relying on CDC guidance with regards to masks. Right. So we're still wearing masks while we're indoors, um, outdoor activities less so obviously. Um, and I think the, the interesting thing's going to be as we get to June 15th, are we going to have guidelines with regards to separating those that have been vaccinated versus non-vaccinated? Right. And how do you manage that uh, yeah. going through? And I think that's going to be the most difficult thing that the, the state has to wrestle with when they when they get to that level. Right. Well, the state or, uh, you know, just in general, because lots of people want to travel. They're going to get on planes. 
So you've got, yep. you've got that kind of thing. So you guys uh, foiled a robbery. Tell me how this happened. Yeah, so um, back in, actually, it, it, time t takes a long time, but back in uh, November, we had, uh, as well as in Orange County, it was happening kind of everywhere, um, people were stealing catalytic converters out of vehicles and, and selling them on the market. I guess the market's like 10 times more valuable than, oh. the, than the piece of equipment that's in the vehicle, but okay. you can't run the vehicle without it, right? Right, right. And we had a situation where um, three of our uh, vehicles had been broken into. Um, the perpetrator of the crime um, decided to chuck their saw that they had um, into the bushes. Um, our surveillance cameras caught the individual before they had come into the area where the vehicles okay. were. So we had a vehicle, we had a description of the individual, and then we found the saw. And luckily for us, in a sense, the uh, individual must have cut themselves. Um, so there was some DNA on the saw that we were able to capture. Mm -hmm. Gave that information, all of our video, all of our surveillance, all of the data that we collected because we went out and found the saw, turned that over to Orange County um, Sheriff's Department and they were um, able to make a positive identification and arrest this last couple weeks mm. and um, have that person in jail now. Um, so kudos to our security department for being diligent about going around and looking, not yeah. just going over to the vehicle and saying, hey, something's right. gone. They found no, the we, saw. <laughs> we actually went around and found the saw and then with the videotaping. And that just goes to show you that our security system with having video um, makes a difference because um, yeah. it's uh, it's people that we don't have the ability to staff everywhere, you know, all times. Right. And so having security um, cameras where we can look at vehicles, check vehicles, check uh, our neighborhoods and our community areas with this um, surveillance count does help. And then working with our residents, you know, if you see say something, say something, you know, yeah. type of thing. Um, or great success in this one. And same thing that we recently had with bicycles. We, right. had, we had bicycles that were stolen and were able to identify the individual. And so um, good work by our security department um, and want to thank them and then also to our residents. Again, um, keep us informed. Excellent, well, well good job. Yeah. Good job to, uh, to Carlos and his team, that's excellent. All right, well thank you and we will see you again after the holiday. Sounds great. All right, bye-bye. And when we come back, we will have Andre Torn with a United Update. So stay tuned. <laughs>